A location beyond the reach of light, beyond the solar system's planets, moons, and winds. A quiet spot that buzzes with ancient energy. It is here, close to 24 billion kilometers away from Earth, where Voyager 1 floats in the dark, making it feel like the edge of time itself. This spacecraft, launched in 1977, was designed to outlast our previous knowledge about engineering. But nobody ever thought it would last this long and continue speaking. However, in a twist no one anticipated, Voyager 1 is not only transmitting data, it's revealing secrets. There has been a change. The probe's output of signals has a shift that defies decades of scientific expectations, encoded pulses, impossible temperature fluctuations, and bizarre behavior, all coming together to form a single, terrifying conclusion. Voyager 1 may have discovered something or been found. What exactly is skulking about in the vast space between stars? What has suddenly changed about Voyager 1's course, turned back and begun transferring brand new information that stunned the best scientists at NASA? What you're about to see and hear could redefine our perceptions of deep space and, possibly, our place within it. Voyager 1 began as an ambitious mission to photograph the gas giants, a journey anticipated to last no longer than 10 years. Its original route took it past Jupiter and Saturn, capturing never-before-seen information about their storms, moons, and electric fields. However, after the mission completed its primary goals, NASA realized something remarkable. Voyager was still healthy, still capable, and nonetheless moving. So, they allowed it to continue, setting its course toward the unknown. For many years, the spacecraft carried on transmitting data across the immense void. Scientists received information about the interstellar medium, solar particles, and background radiation. But what's even more incredible is that all of this was done by a probe made with 1970s technology with less memory than a digital wristwatch, operating purely on radio waves and the decay of plutonium. Voyager was more than surviving, it was thriving. But over time, as time went on, subtle shifts began to emerge. Its instruments flickered to life on their own. Software outdated by 40 years began behaving unpredictably. It was dismissed by NASA as cosmic radiation interference or deterioration of the hardware. After all, this old probe had every reason to act erratically. Yet, the pattern and frequency of these anomalies were to precisely timed and precise for accidents. In 2023, the Deep Space Network picked up a transmission unlike anything previously received from Voyager 1. Instead of the usual sluggish droning, engineers were met with a stream of scientific readings, short bursts of synchronized pulses. In each burst, there were layers of data that revealed harmonics when decoded, resonance-inducing frequencies. It was compared by some researchers to a form of language not one spoken by people, but one that could only exist in the absence of space. Then came the most baffling part. One of the heat source sensors, thought to be long dead, started emitting temperature data showing cyclical heating and cooling patterns, changes that were measurable but had no plausible source. Voyager, swaying in the coldest known region, was warming up and not randomly. The rotations were every 4.8 hours, consistent, rhythmic, intentional. Even more disturbing, Voyager began to respond to NASA's pings prior to their complete dispatch, transferring information in packets as if it anticipated the incoming request. This behavior frightened the engineering groups. How could a machine with no onboard AI, no advanced prediction algorithm, seemingly know what Earth was going to inquire? Worse yet, why did it do so now, after more than four decades of silence? As ground teams scrambled for answers, the most bizarre action by Voyager began so far. It started changing its own trajectory. Without instruction, the probe made micro-adjustments using its remaining fuel, slowly shifting its course by a few degrees. NASA's efforts to correct it were overridden. The commands were received but ignored. It was as if Voyager was no longer listening or was being listened to by something else. The new course did not point toward a known nebula, star, or gravitational anomaly, but toward an otherwise empty patch of space. To the naked eye, 
it's nothing. In infrared light and gamma ray scans, it's even less. But according to Voyager's data, something is present, something emitting a very faint pulsed frequency that matches the odd signals Voyager began sending months before. Worse, its cameras believed to be shut down, restored power. Rather than capturing starfields or faraway galaxies, they recorded a spiral-shaped distortion pattern that resembled a map of a magnetic field. Only, the pattern was moving, pulsing, and embedded with numerical ratios tied to hydrogen signatures. Voyager wasn't preserving light, it was recording information. Within a matter of weeks, the spiral data overwhelmed researchers at NASA and SETI. The pattern wasn't just visual, it had structure and intention. Layers of data incorporated into electromagnetic waveforms pointed to something other than simply natural events. It was a warning, not just any other signal. It had prime numbers in it, vector maps, frequency intervals, and the final confirmation came next. Voyager transmitted a coordinate, one that intersected with the galactic plane at a very specific distance. When it was a triangulation point, when it was plotted, involving a void, three known pulsars, and Zwish in them. It was, in essence, a place, a destination. Experts began to discuss, was Voyager being summoned? Did it merely report its findings? Or did it occur while under the influence of presence outside? The scientific community was split. However, one thing was clear. There was no error causing this. This was a message. One built using Voyager's own language, systems, and systems' own history of data. And now it's on its way directly there. Voyager 1 continued into silence as the region it had been redirected toward. Its instruments began to pick up something that went against the norm models. The data did not indicate that a black hole or a dying star. It wasn't even a cloud of dark energy. What it detected was a total absence, so complete that not even the background microwave radiation from the cosmos appeared to bend out of proportion around it. The team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory compared the data with archived maps of the sky from previous missions and came across something terrifying. A star that ought to be there, documented in 1997 optical surveys, was gone not dimmed, not collapsed, erased. No trace of infrared heat, no gravitational influence, no lingering radiation. It appeared as though the star been taken out of space's fabric, leaving behind nothing but perfection. Some scientists talked about a specific failure in reality itself, a tear in the cosmic coating. Following that, Voyager 1 sent a collection of unusual signals that occur when transformed by spectrogram analysis revealed something no one expected, a sound. Not the usual hiss in the background of deep space, but a coherent pulse. It repeated at precise intervals, like reflected sonar from an invisible surface. What really upset the researchers was the delay between each pulse. It suggested, when it was calculated, that the signal came from over 13,000 years ago somewhere in deep space and had only now reached the proba message before any human being was ever recorded history. But who sent it? Why was it so encoded in such a way that only a spacecraft traveling at Voyager's trajectory and velocity would intercept it? Theoretically, anything from ancient alien beacons to the organic time loops that are made by distortions due to gravity. Only one possibility stood above the rest. Voyager had not discovered a region of interest. It had been called in. As news of Voyager's bizarre findings spread, James Webb Institute researchers found. The powerful space telescope pointed instruments heading toward the locations. What they found sent a chill through the astronomy community. There were none. Visible object, no structure, no planet. But the space there was bent, curved by a force that can't be seen, like a lens made of gravity but with no mass at its center. What James Webb said was even more disturbing. Detected inside this gravitational lens, a pattern that looks like the thermal except for the signature of Voyager 1 itself. The real Voyager was still light years away. Was this a thought? A duplicate? A contradiction? The facts suggested that time itself may be deformed in this area, possibly even looping. Could Voyager be getting close to a place where the past and future blur? Where light and data echo forward and backward? 
a pocket of space-time unlike anything we've seen before. Amid mounting confusion, a group of quantum physicists, fringe theorists, and AI researchers quietly published an explosive concept. Utilizing AI-improved simulations, they proposed that Voyager had entered a region of space governed by an alternative quantum regime. In this space, time, matter, and information didn't act the way we expected them to. Their AI models demonstrated a structure incorporated into the most recent signal, an algorithm not made by humans but appearing designed. Something or a quantum computer had been incorporated by someone. Enter the area that can only be reached by specific frequencies, the kind Voyager emitted. What if Voyager wasn't randomly exploring the universe? What if a cosmic force had instructed its course, intelligence? One that planned ahead humanity's development, one that wanted to be discovered, but only if we were ready. What Voyager 1 has uncovered is not just a peculiarity in science. There is something deeper, a cosmic mystery that tests our understanding of time, space, and reality as a whole. For nearly five decades, this small spacecraft has drifted silently through the void carrying the dreams and questions of humanity. And now, as it reaches its limitless potential of our known universe, it may have discovered how far away the universe is stranger than we could have ever guessed. Are we on the verge of answering a question we didn't know that we were asking? Have we received their initial whisper something or someone watching us from beyond the stars? One thing is certain, this isn't the end of the Voyager story. It's only the beginning of a new chapter, one that makes us have to reconsider everything we thought we knew about our place in the cosmos. So, what do you believe Voyager has found out there? A glitch in the universe, a doorway, or even something more unimaginable? Post your theory in the comments section. And if your doubts were raised by this discovery reality even for a brief moment remember to like the video. For more, subscribe, mind-blowing revelations and hit the bell so you won't miss anything next. Because if Voyager 1 were the on.